Hello there. Today we're going to be sharing a few tips for passing the TOGAF certification exam part 2. That's OG0-092. The TOGAF 9.2 certification program. TOGAF 9.2 is the latest version of the Open Groups framework for enterprise architecture. In a previous video, we talked about the standard generally and highlighted what the practice of EA was about. You should watch that video. The open group allows you to achieve the TOGAF 9.2 certification in two steps, TOGAF 9.2 Foundation and TOGAF 9.2 Practitioner. Some people keep it simple and choose to write both exams at one sitting. But this video is focused on part two. Both exams use multiple choice questions, but the part two exam is designed as eight complex scenario based questions. We are just going to jump right into this course. So here's tip number one. You do not need to memorize anything. The TOGAF 9.2 part two exam is an open book exam. This means a copy of the standard will be available within the exam. While part one was focused more on testing your knowledge of the facts, part two is focused on testing your understanding of the standard. Tip two, the official study guide is enough. The official study guide has enough information to help you pass. You definitely have to read or reference the standard itself. Make sure you do the practice questions in the study guide too. They are vital to give you a good picture of what to expect. Number three, an understanding of the ADM steps is vital. Most questions in the exam are asking you about steps or phases in the architecture development method. You should know each ADM phase and the steps, inputs, and outputs of each phase. More importantly, know the jargon and where they fit into the ADM. Tip number four, you have 90 minutes. At the beginning of the exam, you will see a notice that indicates you have 105 minutes, but this has Add at the time used to walk you through the exam environment. You have 90 minutes for the actual exam of eight questions. This means you should target finishing each question in 10 minutes. Tip number five, four options for each question. Each question has four options and you are better off when you aim for the best answer. Selecting the best answer wins you five marks. That's most correct answer. The next best wins you three marks and the other two, two marks and zero marks respectively. Why jargon is important. Some questions are asked with jargon in, in the question. If you do not understand the jargon, you might not understand what the question requires. Stakeholder map, business transformation readiness assessment, value streams, ETC are a few examples. Know the terms and know where they occur in the ADM phases. Tip number six, eliminate the distractor. One option in each question is always completely wrong. Try to find that option first to give yourself a better chance. Once you eliminate the distractor, you can carefully determine the most correct answer from the remaining three. Tip number seven, the last paragraph of each question. To go 9.2 part two questions are scenario based. You are required to read up to 500 words to answer a question. Try to read it twice, but focus more on the latter part of the question to capture what is really required of you. Tip number eight, use the TOGAF 9.2 standard in the exam. 
feel free to reference the toga standard provided as a PDF within the exam, but don't spend too much time on it. Preparing for the exam properly will give you leverage because you will know what to look for when using the standard in the exam. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm off to my next exam. Remember to subscribe. Thank you.